friends welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology and in this video lecture I'm going to talk about NF Kappa B signaling pathway uh, I've been getting a lot of requests of making the video on NF Kappa B signaling because it is one of uh, its own kind of signaling pathway so let's first also talk about a little bit about NF Kappa and what NF Kappa is all about then we'll talk about uh, the signaling and also I'll give you some tips to remember the NF Kappa B signaling in the easiest way possible so the very first thing about NF kappa B, NF kappa B is not a single protein. It's a protein complex where generally two different proteins are combined together. And we call that heterodimer as NF kappa B. And what is NF kappa B heterodimer? NF kappa B is nothing but a transcription factor. Now, what is the big deal about this NF kappa B as a transcription factor? There are tons of transcription factors available inside the cell all the time. True, but NF kappa B is unique in terms of the expression. Because normally, uh, for different uh, type of cell signaling pathway, there are different type of uh, transcription factors. For example, for MAP kinase pathway, if we think uh, there are these uh, ultimate transcription factors, FOS June, for JAK-STAT pathway, it's the STAT dimer. So for different different pathways, we have different uh, transcription factors linked. But in case of NF kappa B signaling, uh, we don't have only uh, any like in, in case of NF kappa B it is an universal transcription factor it's not like just any other kind of transcription factor that is present at the end of the signaling pathway it is a uh, all-in-one signaling uh, all-in-one transcription factor because uh, this transcription factor is always present in all the cells of our body now the question is whenever our body is in distress whenever our body is in any kind of stress from outside stimuli the very first uh, type of signaling pathway that is going to be activated is is, uh, it will be mediated by NF kappa B. So that's why NF kappa B signaling is so important because it acts as the very first uh, signaling pathway in our body that's going to respond our body and prepare our body against any sort of environmental changes uh, where our body is actually thrown to. So that's why NF kappa B is so unique. It's always ready and it will start the process of uh, cellular healing and also all the other physical uh, cellular pathways that leads to uh, fixing any kind of errors or any kind of damages that occur to the cell. So let's talk about the NF kappa B signaling uh, from the from beginning here. Okay. So the very first thing that I'll actually mention is the easiest way to remember NF kappa B pathway. And I told you that for any other cell signaling pathway, the easiest way to remember it by uh, this idea that I've invented that is five finger concept of NF kappa B signaling. And in this five finger concept, we are going to talk about uh, five important parameters of every single cell signaling pathway. So for NF kappa B, those five important uh, parameters goes like signaling molecule at the very beginning. So the signaling molecule that we use in NF kappa B are any kind of uh, reactive oxygen species, ionizing radiations, it can be interleukin, it can be uh, tumor necrosis factor, alpha or beta, and many other different components, foreign materials that came from outside. For example, LPS, for example, flagella, uh, flagellin protein, so all these different foreign uh, molecules which can only have an origin uh, from the foreign organism's body or else it's a harmful radiation or else it's it's kind of a you know uh, dangerous stimuli from the environment so any kind of stress because you know ionizing radiation ROS it's going to apply stress to the cell so these all act as a signaling uh, influencer it's not a signaling molecule but most it can be signaling influencer now the receptor for NF kappa B signaling are toll like receptor for for uh, like LPS for flagellin toll like receptors can be kind of toll like receptors act as a receptor for this NF kappa B signaling there will be tumor necrosis a factor receptor TNFR if the signaling molecule is TNF, TNF alpha or TNF beta the receptor will be TNFR TNF receptor other than that, there will be receptor activator of NF kappa B, also known as RANK, the short form RANK, receptor activator of NF kappa B. So these all are the receptors that are involved in NF kappa B signaling. Now the third important parameter are the cellular activators and second messengers involved in NF kappa B signaling. And the examples will be IKK, IKB, NF. K B. Now, what do we mean by IKK IKB? So the short forms are already written in this picture. It's NF kappa B is a heterodimer, as I mentioned earlier. It's composed of two different protein, REL A and P20. So as they are different, we call them heterodimer. And uh, 
एन एफ कापा बी इट ऑल्सो कंटेन्स एन एफ कापा बी इनहिबिटर और इनहिबिटर ऑफ एन एफ कापा बी दैट इज आई के बी एंड देर इज ऑल्सो अनदर प्रोटीन आई के के इट इज नोन एज द एन एफ इनहिबिटर ऑफ एन एफ कापा बी दैट इज आई के बी काइनेज सो इट फॉस्फोर आईलेट्स द इनहिबिटर ऑफ एन एफ कापा बी सो दिस आई के के आई के बी एंड एन एफ के बी एन एफ कापा बी सो ऑल ऑफ देम एक्ट एज अ सेलुलर एक्टिवेटर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ एक्जैक्टली दे आर गोइंग टू वर्क टूगेदर इन अ सिक्वेंस नाउ द फोर्थ इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर ट्रांसक्रिप्शन फैक्टर्स एन एफ कापा बी इट सेल्फ इज अ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन फैक्टर ओके एंड द फिफ्थ थिंग सेल्युलर इफेक्ट्स सेल्युलर इफेक्ट्स गोज लाइक डी एन ए ट्रांसक्रिप्शन दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इफेक्ट बाय द एन एफ कापा बी सिग्नलिंग बिकॉज एन एफ कापा बी इज अ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन फैक्टर सोल्ली एंड इट्स जॉब इज द डी एन ए ट्रांसक्रिप्शन एंड ट्रांसक्राइबिंग द जीन्स एंड देन मेकिंग प्रोटीन्स आउट ऑफ इट आफ्टर ट्रांसलेशन साइटोकाइन प्रोडक्शन सेल सर्वाइवल दीज आर ऑल डिफरेंट एन एफ कापा बी सिग्नलिंग पाथ दिज आर ऑल द सेल्युलर इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द एन एफ कापा बी सिग्नलिंग पाथ पे so uh, the steps of nf kappa b signaling we need to understand because it's really a very important pathway so if we start to talk about that in a big picture in an overview i took this picture from wikipedia so uh, i just mentioned the source there as well so it's taking uh, this idea of signal the signal can be anything as we discussed earlier so the signaling molecule is going to bind with the, with the receptor that is present on the surface of the cell membrane now once the signaling molecule attaches to the receptor on the surface then that receptor is active activated and once the receptor is activated the receptor is going to activate by phosphorylating the ikk protein and if you remember ikk is ikb kinase that is it's a kinase that phosphorylates the inhibitor of nf kappa b protein now the the idea is that nf kappa b is always present in the cytosol if you think about in this picture the nf kappa b is a heterodimer and which is drawn here with this a uh, blue and green combinations so this rel a and p50 proteins together known as nf kappa b so this nf kappa b is always present in the cytosol but it's kept inactive by the inhibitor of kappa b so known as ikb alpha so this ikb alpha is known as an in inhibitor of nf kappa b protein which is actually blocking as you can see let me take a color here as well sorry uh let's take this color okay you can see that uh this ikb alpha this is the inhibitor and this inhibitor is blocking the rel a and p20 p52 work okay so this is the nf kappa b okay and uh the inhibitor is not allowing them to activate okay so now this ikk once the kinase is activated due to the signaling then this kinase is going to phosphorylate the inhibitor of uh, kappa b that is ikb Uh, alpha so once ikb alpha is phosphorylated then this phosphorylated form of ikb alpha gets uh, attention from ubiquitination and proteasome mediated degradation so upon phosphorylation ikb alpha gets degraded by proteasome thus rendering a rel a and p50 complex known as nf uh, kappa b uh, complex free so once nf kappa b complex is free it moves inside the nucleus and finally going inside the nucleus and it combines with other coactivators there are different proteins name i'm not i'm not going to talk about those names because uh, it's not even full proof uh, about the factors and 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 their uh, their role but there are coactivators found and uh, also rna polymerase all together is going to sit for the target gene transcription and they will allow the transcription of the target gene once the transcription is done the mrna will be transported uh, inside uh, the cytosol into the cytosol and once in the cytosol ribosome will allow that protein trans uh, i mean translation of the uh, mrna into protein and once the proteins are made those protein can be used for the several different cellular activity and in this case the cellular activity always goes like uh, the dna transcription it's already done and the cytokine production or the cell si survival pathway because generally this nf kappa b is uh, done in response to stress so obviously uh as a result of this pathway the proteins that they will produce uh, will be heat shock proteins cold shock proteins and different shock mediated proteins they are going to manage the cell well in during those stress uh, conditions and uh, allow the cells to thrive and survive in those stressful conditions so that is the beauty of nf kappa b signaling and remember why it's unique because it's the very first responder to any kind of harmful cellular stimuli uh, that came from outside so it occurs during stress during the free radical damage heavy metal poisoning or uv radiation 
etc etc so that's regarding the nf kappa b signaling pathway if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like this one okay thank you